Long ago in a distant land, I, Kiro, the samurai in service of Sungor, received an unbelievable assignment. My wise master Henkin, sending his servant Dinkin, stepped forth to summon me. Before I knew it, I gazed into a portal in time and stepped into the future with my love, Mishi. Now we seek to return to the past and undo the future that is 2100. Greetings to all masters, cyberpunks, and accidental ronin. I am Lugbazurg, the very varied guy. Have you ever felt like you just don't belong? Try being this guy. Unsheathed between the releases of Project Axis and Screecher, Nick Gibson's flagship series, 2100 Samurai, came to the world in 2021, hot off the Phoenix Press. Between comic releases, convention kiosks, and live streams on the Super Split Screen Bros, among other things, the man keeps himself busy living the dream with more projects than you can shake a tanto at. And what better place to start than the very comic that got him on my radar in the first place? So, join me in a portal through time as we cut into 2100 Samurai. <laughs> Kiro, are you there? Come on, open up! <gasps> Mishi, wake up. What? What's going on? Dinkin is here. I don't know why. I told you this was a bad idea. What a lovely couple. We're definitely not in breakout anymore. Right out of the gate, 2100 Samurai kicks in a noteworthy experience within just a few pages. Each character is stark and distinct, even with its strictly black and white visual limitations. You can easily differentiate between them without issue, both in personality and in design. When samurai warriors Kiro and Mishi are about to be wed, they suddenly receive one more radical change in their lives that will bind them together. Wow, this guy Dinkin really knocked the door down just to knock it down. Moving on, Kiro and Mishi are summoned forth to meet with their master Henkin, who has an assignment for the two of them. Which is... Follow me. As you both are well aware, one of the duties of a village lore master is the curation and preservation of precious artifacts. Normally, this is a solitary affair, but this morning, one of the portals I have been studying activated. A portal? Activated? Yes, Kiro, a portal. This one, in fact. Okay, I have so many questions. They understand what portals are? One of the portals? So there are more? How many does it keep in storage? What does an inactive portal look like? How does he even know? But we don't have enough pages or patience for those answers. So Kiro and Mishi enter the portal, and what do they find? This is where the 2100 part of the title kicks in. What, you thought it was gonna be the number of samurai involved? Eh, it happens. People sure are judgmental in this time period. She sure figured that out quickly. She starts doing a little judging herself once this guy comes a pestering. Leave now or die forever. I uh, you are not Dang, she was ready to use that sword and take him half off. Oh, great. I guess this is where the new artist takes over.
I like this buildup of how it starts to be implied that traversing through the portal has caused Kiro and Mishi to become a bit more bionic, but also more aggressive as well, which comes to a head when they start deflecting bullets with their swords. Amazing how well that works. I could find some nitpicks, like the initial credits page could use some more elaboration, with some of this confusion leading to a change in art style halfway through, and I found all of one typo. I'd say the most critical flaw is how the samurai go through the portal in the first place. From the dialogue, it's clear they all understand what a portal is, and after Kiro and Ichi have seen it for about 15 seconds, they jump right in without any preparation. No supplies, no rations, no plan, no portable shelter, no telling anyone where they're going. They just walk in. Hey, have you guys seen Mishi anywhere? I was supposed to give her this owl apparel. Granted, going through all that would likely mess up the pace, so maybe if they instead didn't understand what they were looking at, Kiro or Mishi could have tried to touch it, only to start getting pulled in while the other tries to pull them out, but they both get sucked in. Then their unpreparedness holds more weight, especially considering the portal then closes behind them. Considering there's just 20 pages to establish their origin, catapult them into an unfamiliar setting, and set up a conflict, the latter would have likely been the best course of action. They're not even concerned about being trapped on the wrong side of the portal. Seems like a missed opportunity. However, I did dig how much it was able to get across in such a short period of time. Not a moment was wasted. Issue 1 established so much, so coherently, so quickly, and in black and white no less. Gibson clearly did a good job directing his illustrators to convey everything clearly. I've already ordered issue 2. I've just gotta see where all this is going. Ooh. I just gotta point out. 2100 Samurai makes some good use of shadows to fill in the backgrounds. There's a nice noir style it rolls with, taking its lack of Technicolor as a style and owning it! There were some good comeback lines in here as well. Now we just need some red to be the only other color and... Wait, I'm told that's exactly what's being done with the Blood and Steel editions? <laughs> well, sign me up! It gets even more detailed next time! Bio-Freak Ward, a noodle incident, a cruel assassin, a flying train set piece, and quite a few reasons to fight through this city on Kiro's journey. Yeah, you're definitely gonna want to see what happens next time. For alternate come up with recommendations, I would like to direct your attention to 47 Furious Tales from Sinopa Publishing. For another twist on Samurai, you may want to get your claws on this as soon as possible. Alternatively, if you came for the visceral tech action, then upgrade your library with Replicator from Rob Arnold. For more of your cyberpunk augments, this newfound blood and steel should keep you going for the foreseeable future. Between the two, you should find something to your liking. This series is going far in record time! I gotta see where these legends go in the future. I'm Lug Berserk, the very varied guy, and as always, stay geeky everyone! <laughs>